Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create an income dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this beautiful income dashboard in Microsoft Excel. You can use it for your personal use as well as for your business use. This is the dashboard page of this income dashboard. On the left hand side, we are showing the slicer for the source and received by and on the right hand side, we are showing the slicer for recurring, payment method, category and month. If you select any value in the slicer, like if you want to see the non recurring payment, you can just click whole dashboard will be changed accordingly. Okay, or you can just select any of the month to see the details or you can select any value on the slicer. In the middle section, we are showing the different charts like first chart is total amount by payment method. This is a donor chart and here we are showing the total amount by source and total amount by categories and we are showing the percentage of the amount. This is the income trend by date and here we have the total amount by received by person name. Okay, now I will show you the data and here in the data we have the date, source, amount, category, payment method, notes and this is the recurring payment, yes or no, status received, received by and the contact and in the last we have added a month which is a formula. You can simply add a new dates here like I am putting here let's say 5th May. So automatically it has added a new row because this is a table. Okay, now here I can select, let's say I'm selecting here rental income, just putting here 1000 as an amount and I'm just selecting the category as property, then the payment received through direct deposit and notes, you can put any notes, it's a free text and this is a recurring payment, yes, every month I will receive this rental income. Payment is received and you can enter the received by person name. Let's say I'm putting here name as PK and you can put the email ID of that person also, but I'm just keeping it blank. The month will appear automatically because it is connected with this date. Now I'll come to the dashboard and I will go to the data and I'll say refresh all. So now that data is refreshed and the numbers are changed, we can see or we can filter the category here as property to see the more detail and we can see the 5th May here. Alright friends. Now let me show you the other sheets also. This is the list sheet wherein we are creating the list for source, category, payment method and recurring yes or no. Then we have a support sheet wherein we are creating few pivot table to create the dashboard and the charts of the dashboards are connected with this support sheet. Now I will explain you step by step how we can create this in Microsoft Excel. So please watch this video till the end. Let's go to the data first and I will copy the same data. So let me copy this data. Let's say till here. Press Ctrl N to add a new workbook and paste that data here as value okay shift control b and we can convert this into date format shift control 3 all right now we will quickly format this so just select this range and auto fit this one press control 1 and we can put some border also go to the border and let's take here this color and outline inside okay and you can reduce the font size slightly align this center center and we can just change the header also so let's take some different color here so let's say i'm taking this one and make the font as white okay now we can convert this into a table so just select this press ctrl t to convert it into a table click on ok and we can go to the table design and uncheck this bended rows okay so this table is ready now we can insert somewhere a month column. So let's say here I'm adding a month column and I'm putting a formula as text. Select this date, comma, put here MMM dash by 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 or you can take the four time M's also as you want. Okay. Close the inverted comma and close the bracket at the enter. So we are getting the complete month name with year. You can change the color of this field just to indicate this is a formula and here we can take let's say this color all right 
so this data seat is ready we can rename this as data now we can add another seat and let's rename this as list so here we will add our list so we can go back to this seat and let's copy this whole data from here and we will use the same data for the list go to the data sheet and we will create the quickly drop down for the source select this range press alt d l list and in the source select this range click on ok so we have the list here similarly we will do this activity for category press alt d l list source and select this range i have added all the drop downs okay now we will add a support seat this will be our support seat we can make it hidden so we will create a quick pivot tables here just click anywhere on the table go to the insert click on pivot table it is taking from table 1 we will create on the existing seat go to the support seat here and let's click here okay the first we will create by source let's say so put the source in rows and amount in values let's close this double click on the amount number format and we will make it comma separated and decimal zero okay and go to the design and here we can choose any design let's say i'm taking this one go to the view and remove the grid lines from here if you want to remove the total you can just select the pivot table go to the design and grant total of this report layout you can take the so in tabular form now we can copy this and let's say i'm pasting this here and making other copies also now right click on the second one go to the soap field list and here we will take the category in place of source so just remove the source from here and take the category okay so this is by category to differentiate that you can just change the design and let's take th this one and here just right click and we will take this time payment method and remove the source and change the design this one also and here you can take right click so field list we can so received by also and remove this and let's take this design and for the last one we will show by date so let's take the date in place of source and remove the source and we can just simply right click on this and ungroup this we have the proper dates now for the received by we can just sort it largest to smallest and similarly for this source we can sort by smallest to largest okay now we will start creating our dashboard so add a new seat as dashboard first go to the view and remove the grid lines from here and select this range till the end use merge and type here income dashboard for example and format this so this will be the title of the dashboard take the font as Arial rounded empty bold and size around 35 or let's take 30 and font color white and the background color let's take this darker color all right now here we will start creating the charts and we will create the slicers also so go to the support and select any keyword go to the insert and slicer we will take the slicer for month received by recurring payment method category source click on ok we have all slicers just select those slicer and press ctrl x to cut that come to the dashboard and paste those slicers here now we have selected all the slicers go to the slicer here and we will choose some color so let's say i'm taking this one just right click and go to the slicer setting just check this hide items with no data okay let's keep the slicer here like this and then we will make it smaller we will quickly arrange them 
okay now just select this recurring slicer go to the slicer and take the columns as 2 and reduce the size and let's paste that here all right friends so this is done now i will go to the support sheet and i'll select the first and then i'll go to the insert and i will insert a bar chart so i'll take this bar chart select the bar chart go to the buttons and just click on hide all and remove this legend also and this horizontal axis also we can remove the grid lines also either select this or you can uncheck it from here also all right just right click on this go to the format data series and just close this we will change the gap width and take slightly smaller gap width around 70 percent and then we will select this chart and we will press ctrl x and we will paste it on the dashboard so let's keep this here make it slightly smaller so this is the total amount by source we can quickly format this so make it black smaller and bold similarly black bold and smaller we can change the color of this and we can take the theme color so just right click go to the format data series and let's select here fill and berry color by point we can go to the design and change color and we can choose the color from here let's say this one okay now we can quickly add the data labels also so click on this plus and add the data labels so we have the data labels also let's keep this chart here in the center and we will quickly insert another chart so go to the support sheet and this time we will take payment method also first so just select this one insert and we will insert the donor chart for this one and again go to the hide all all right just make it a smaller press ctrl x come to the dashboard and paste that here make it smaller and go to the design and we can just change the color again and let's take this one the same theme color we can change the title similarly and make this smaller black and bold Similarly, we can insert the other charts also. So let's say for this one, I'm inserting a pie chart. So I'll take this 3D pie and hide all from here. Press Ctrl X to cut this. Come to the dashboard and paste that here. We can just close this and make this smaller. We will adjust the space here. So we can make this chart slightly smaller. Just move the slicers slightly on the left side like here and we can just increase the header bit all right friend now quickly we will change the color so go to the design and take the color of the same theme so i'm taking this color copy it from here and we can paste that this is total amount by category okay and make it smaller now let's go to the support and we will create a trend chart this one so go to the insert and we will insert a line chart this one okay select the line chart field button just hide all cut this chart ctrl x come to the dashboard and paste it here make this slightly bigger in the full bit remove the legend click on this plus icon and go to the grid lines and check the primary major vertical just click on the line right click go to the format data series fill and take the solid line and take the line color this one and make it smoothed in the last and the width of the line take around 1.5 then go to the markers marker option and take the size save in this circular marker fill and we will fill here white color then take the borders of the marker and take the same color as line color and take 1.5 all right so this is the amount by date so this chart is also ready now we will come to the support sheet again and we will create another chart by this received by amount so go to the insert 
and we will insert the column chart this time this one just select and press ctrl x dashboard and paste that chart here select make it a smaller go to the pivot chart analyze and field buttons hide all we can remove the grid lines from here and this one also and just go to the design and choose the this design but we are seeing the same color so we can simply right click form a data series fill and line berry color by point and go to the design and choose the first one okay so this is working perfectly at the data levels change the title as amount by and this is column is received by now we can move this sheet here and we can hide this support sheet because this is not required so this is done friends all right friends so friends that is how you can create the income dashboard in microsoft excel friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching